All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, with Dash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is the Peace of Zion back again from GMS Atlanta with another edition of uh, GMS News and Prophecy. And this is going to be real quick. Um, this is uh, an article here from the business dash standard uh, dot com. All right, the business standard website, and uh, as you can see right here, uh, on, in the headline it says Forever Twenty One files for bankruptcy, will shutter most stores in Asia and Europe. Okay, um, and a lot of these businesses over the last, whew, going back ten up to about five years ago, up until now, a lot of these businesses that you see in these malls. Are going out of business basically, okay, or filing for bankruptcy, whether it be JC Penney's, nor uh, Barnes and Nobles, um, Borders, um, Toys R Us basically went out of business here in America, um, different stores, uh, Sears, okay, and basically what's going on is uh, these malls and these different stores um, around the country are not as popular and are not as uh, visited frequently as they were going back to, uh, you know, the 80s, you know, the 90s, early 2000s. And a lot of these, um, a lot of these, these um, businesses are actually moving online to do um, online, on you know, online sales, um, Amazon and different websites and different companies are basically um changing the game <laughs> okay they're changing the game on these businesses and forever 21 is another another uh, female clothing franchise that is moving you know moving out of these um brick and mortar malls okay so it says here, it says, uh, Forever 21 Inc. filed for bankruptcy protection. The latest big fashion merchant who couldn't cope with high rents and heavy competition as the shift to e-commerce cut a swath through traditional retailers. Court papers filed in Washington, D.C., uh, in, in, in Wilmington, Delaware, show Forever 21 has estimated liabilities on a consolidated basis of between $1 billion and $10 billion. It says the Chapter 11 filing allows the Los Angeles-based company to keep operating while it works out a plan to pay its creditors and turn around the business. So basically, it's, it's losing business in these stores. And, um, you know, they basically got to change the game plan, you know. Let's see. Uh, I'll jump down to here. It says once popular among teenagers... It says once popular among teenagers in the 2000s for its affordable but eye-catching designs, Forever 21 signature bright yellow shopping bags have become a rare sight as Generation Z consumers, those born from 1998 onwards, shifted rapidly over to e-commerce and streetwear brands in recent years. The bankruptcy filing could help Forever 21 get rid of unprofitable stores and raise fresh funds, allowing the private family-held company to restructure its flailing business for a new generation. Um... So this is another. Uh, no, let's go back. So this is another um, another sign of the times, um, because as we always say here, a great millstone. All right, because we go into these prophecies and we see the different things that's going on in the news and around the world. We tell you that, you know, that eventually. These businesses and the economy of America as a whole is going to eventually collapse. Okay? And you got to remember, too, once these businesses, okay, it's not just about, well, we're a failing business, so let's move online. Once these businesses move online, there's no jobs. Okay? They don't need, um, you know, 
cash register workers and stock workers and, 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 and you know, managers for these different um, actual Forever 21 shops or, or, or whatever other store, you know, these different shops. They don't need them anymore because they don't have the actual stores. OK, they're shutting down these these um, these storefront shops. So that's less jobs because everything, you know, once you go online, you know, it, you know, uh, the order goes to a warehouse or distribution center, and then it goes through the mail, and then it's delivered to your house. And then even Amazon has drones. Uh, that they're, they're trying to get um, mainstream to deliver your items um, from these different facilities. So this is is. It's going to lead to, you know, less jobs, um, more people out of work, which is eventually going to lead to, you know, nobody buying anything anyway. And that's going to help crash the economy. OK, um, so um, I'll bring out the prophecy. OK, this is the book of Ecclesiastes 12. And I start at the top. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. And this is why we go out here on the streets every week and we do these videos online because the creator, which is the power of you Israelites, so-called blacks, Spanish and Native Americans. Um, he's to be remembered because he's going to send judgment in evil days. And part of this is is the judgment of shutting down these different stores. All of this is sanctioned from the heavenly father. Yahweh Bajim Yahweh Shai. And that's going to bring evil times upon america all right it says remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say i have no pleasure in them so while we are young especially as a young uh israelite men so-called black span native american men if you understand this truth it's time for you to you know stop lollygagging and playing around and come down to a camp you know listen and learn and then if you can teach Teach and do your videos because putting in the work as far as teaching for the creator, for the Lord, that's what's going to help seal your salvation when the evil days come. You know, don't wait until it's too late because like I'm doing in this video, these stores and these businesses around America and around the world are, are shutting down. Okay. So it says, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, then the clouds will return after the rain, which means the understanding that this light of this truth gives you so you can understand the scriptures, you know, before there is no time to teach, you know, um, remember the heavenly father and who you are and seal your salvation. All right. It says in verse three, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. And this shutdown with Forever 21 or this bankruptcy with Forever 21, you know, with them closing down different stores in Asia, Europe. I believe they've done some in America as well. That's going to lead to, you know, grinding, you know, the daily grind, the work to cease. OK, it's going to be few people working, a lot more people out of work. You know, another so-called recession is coming to America. All right. Um, so it says. It says uh, verse three in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the keepers of the house is these um, uh, economists. OK, these financial economists, and these advisors, they're starting to tremble because they can see the uh, 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 effects of the uh the world economy america's economy and how it's starting to uh um make a downward spiral um for the drain okay so they're starting to trim it now because the fears of america you know basically uh destroying itself financially is near okay it says, and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders shall cease because they are few. That's these workers, these stores, these businesses. OK, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, meaning your desire, your 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 outlook on life is going to be darkened now. You know, that whole uh, living my best life and, you know, all that's going to be turned upside down in the frowns, man. 
okay? It's, it's no time right now to be game playing in America, okay? Because America's through. America's finished, all right? Um, so, like I said, if you understand this truth, put in the work for the truth, okay? Maintain your life, you know, get your daily bread, but soon it's going to be a whole nother shift, okay? We're going to go from that nine to five grind working, it ain't gonna be no work we're gonna you know you're gonna have to have money in your spiritual bank account so to speak you know have your faith built up and faith starts with believing in, in uh serving the lord okay so it says uh verse four and the days uh and the doors shall be shut in the street when the sound of the grinding is low when the sound of this work force is low and he shall rise up with the voice of the bird that's your alarm clock all right, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Uh, and when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and all kind of fears are going to be in the way out here in, in the streets of America, okay, because of the evils and the you know the the different diseases, the riots, the protests, the race battles, the race wars, and things that's going to happen. All right, the violence in the cities, okay, the lack of food and bread. That's what's coming to america that's going to bring fears and all the way okay it says and the almond tree shall flourish and the grasshopper shall be a burden and the desire and desire shall fail the desire of of, of, of living the american dream is failing now so it's time now to remember the heavenly father it says because man goeth to his long home and the mourners go about the streets and the same thing that's going on in hong kong out there with that, you know, the protests and riots is going to come over here to America. Okay? That's what's going to happen. All right? The mourners are going to go about the streets out here. So these, these, um, these, these stores and these things shutting down the filing of, of a bankruptcy, that's going to lead to the grinding shall cease. Okay? Uh, but with that, that was mainly the point. I just want to bring the information out. Uh, all praise, all glory, and all honor goes unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekach Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.